Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Let A and B be non-empty subsets of real numbers. And assume A is less than or equal to B for all A in A and all B in B. Then the supremum of A is less than or equal to the infimum of B. In other words, the least upper bound of A is less than or equal to the greatest lower bound of B. Now, first of all, how do we know that the supremum of A and the infimum of B actually exist? Well, this assumption tells us that every element of A is a lower bound of B, and every element of B is an upper bound of A. And if you recall, every non-empty subset of real numbers with an upper bound has a supremum. So since A is a non-empty subset of real numbers with an upper bound, this tells us A must have a supremum, and so the supremum of A exists. Similarly, if you recall, every non-empty subset of real numbers with a lower bound has an infimum. So, since B is a non-empty subset of real numbers with a lower bound, this tells us that B has an infimum. So the infimum of B exists. But now we want to show that the supremum of A is less than or equal to the infimum of B. And to do that, all we got to do is show that the supremum of A is a lower bound of B. Because if we can do that, well then, since the supremum of A is a lower bound of B, and the infimum of B is the greatest lower bound of B, it will follow that the supremum of A is less than or equal to the infimum of B. So, let's show that the supremum of A is a lower bound of B. Now to show that, we're really trying to show that the supremum of A is less than or equal to every element of B. So let's give ourselves an arbitrary element in B. Well, we know that every element of B is an upper bound of A. So B must be an upper bound of A. But since the supremum of A is the least upper bound of A, this tells us that the supremum of A must be less than or equal to B. And now what we've shown here is Given an arbitrary element b in b, we had that the supremum of a is less than or equal to b. Since b was arbitrary, we have shown that the supremum of a is less than or equal to every element of b. So we have shown that the supremum of a is a lower bound of b. And then, since the supremum of A is a lower bound of B, and the infimum of B is the greatest lower bound of B, we have that the supremum of A is less than or equal to the infimum of B. And that is exactly what we wanted to prove. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.